divide 503 by 5. While doing this division, many do this mistake. What is the mistake that they do? I will let you know. But before that, we should frame it in this way. 503 and 5 here. This is your step 1. Next. Here we have 5. Here also 5. When do we get 5 in 5 table? 5 ones, 5. Now we should subtract. 5 minus 5, 0. After this, bring down the beside number. So 0 down. Now here we have 0 and here 5. 0 is smaller than 5. So we should bring down the second number. And the rule to bring down the second number is we should put 0 here. Then only we can bring this number down. After this step, the mistake happens. And the mistake is this. Here we have 3. And here 5. 3 is smaller than 5. And we don't have any more numbers to bring it down. So what many do is, they directly put dot take 0. Which is wrong. Why is it wrong? Because just now you brought this number down. And in the same step, you want to put dot and take 0. Which is wrong. I repeat, bring the number down and also put dot take 0. Bring the number down and put dot take 0. Both at the same step you should not do. Instead, what you should think of doing is, which number should we take here? If I take 1, we will get 5. But 5 is larger than 3. So what we should do is, we should take 0. So 5 into 0, 0. Now we should subtract 3 minus 0, 3. Over here, we did not bring any number down. And 3 is smaller than 5. So now we can put dot and take 0. So 30. When do we get 30 in 5 table? 5, 6, 30. Now we should subtract, we get 0. This is our remainder and this is our quotient. Did you understand where does the mistake happens? You should not do that mistake.